Uh, this is wide open to me. I do feel like Banks and Brown are going to enter camp as your starters. Mm -hmm. But I also yeah. think that based off of what we saw this year, and by the mm -hmm. way, Banks, I want, I want to say this. Banks started the year, started this, started the 2020 season very poorly, got picked on a lot, did not look good, look lost at times. He, to me, looked like a different player week one to week six. Mm -hmm. um, so development through the course of the year. And I'd like to I think that will continue. So I like seven banks a lot. I, I really want to see Burke and Hancock Cavos, Martinez, Watts. I want I do want to see these guys fighting for time. Yeah. But yeah, I, I think as you're starting as you're starting DBs, yeah, I would put Banks and Brown in there. Now, but, if if they're rolling with a third corner, I would I would like to see it be either I think I think Cavos is the guy I'd like to see as the third corner. Yep. Cavos or even maybe even Watts too. So I wouldn't be I, I wouldn't be mad if it was Hancock. <laughs> All right. Our safeties, Jared. Safeties. Uh Proctor's your guy. Uh, yep. again, much like seven banks. I I like the progress that Proctor made from week one to week six, week mm -hmm. seven, week eight. And I think I, I think a surprise here for me, I, I think we'll see probably a lot of ransom next year. The, I, a lot of a lot of good things that we um saw as a recruit Michigan Buck from ransom. Bruce. I I really think that we potentially could see a good amount of ransom this year. I wanted to see more of ransom this year. So if that tells you how much I agree with you, Kyle, <laughs> I wanted to see, because he, he played a lot during the Michigan state game where Ohio state was missing a ton of players. And I yeah, thought no, he looked real good. Granted it was Michigan state, but I thought he looked really good. Yes. And I, I do. I want to see more. I want to see more. I think, I think that is all the positions here. It is. I, I think I think the defensive backs are loaded with really good second year players. Mm -hmm. And I think it'll be really interesting to see how Watts, Cavos, Martinez, Ransom, Court Williams, you know, it was really, really hard to get too many freshmen on the field this year because of 2020 and all of the things that is and was 2020. So I'm really interested to see what those five players can contribute this upcoming season for mm -hmm. a secondary, for a pass defense that was very, very bad this year. What can those second year players do? Mm -hmm. And even if they aren't starting, how do they contribute? And can they push the third and fourth year players to be better? Or just outright take their spots, or it, even if they don't take over the starting spots, how many snaps can they take away from those older guys? Yes, and I, I think that is what I'm looking forward to seeing from the secondary this year. I don't think who's starting is all that interesting, especially week one. Week one, I don't think who's starting is all that interesting. I think what will be interesting is. How many snaps are the young guys taking away from the older guys? Mm -hmm. Yes. I really, really like the, not, not the recruiting class that just signed, but the previous recruiting class. I also like the recruiting class that just signed. Don't get me wrong. I'm just not talking about the true freshmen quite yet. I'm talking about the second year players. I like that group of defensive backs a lot, a lot. And I, I'm just really eager to see what they can do on the field, especially after the struggles that Ohio State's secondary had in 2020. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 